vice president, so I received it by proxy. Didn't anyone elect me to the office? <laughs> Mark Bogus replaced Jerry on the board, so that means that he has to help me with all of the dirty chores around here today. At our last executive committee meeting, we voted to have the Hall of Fame induction in the first part of our meetings. So uh, when the information was sent out a few weeks ago, we were in error. And I would also like to call to your attention, don't go over there right now, but as soon as the, uh, uh, the inductions are over, we have minutes of our last meeting and the agenda for today over there on the table. We would like for you to go over there and pick one up because you will need to approve the minutes of our last meeting. I would like to, at this time, introduce the executive committee for the sake of our inductees uh, being able to see the people who elected them into the Hall of Fame. T.J. Riley, would you please stand as I call your name, please? Director of the Director of Officials for the Oklahoma Secondary School Association.
for the benefit of any coaches that are here, I really only need these to read, okay? <laughs> Mr. Green, Mr. Etheridge, fellow officials and guests, I consider it an extreme pleasure to and privilege to introduce to you Michael C. Bradley as a new inductee into the Oklahoma Officials Association Hall of Fame. For those of you who haven't had the privilege of knowing Mike over the years, let me take just a few moments to introduce him to you and tell you a little bit of his achievements. Mike was born and raised in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where he graduated from Tulsa Edison High School and the University of Tulsa. While attending Tulsa University, he participated in varsity football for one year and in varsity baseball for three years. It's while attending TU that he became involved in sports officiating. Upon graduating from Tulsa University in 1968, he taught school in Tulsa for one year, then moved to Duncan where he taught and coached for five years, coaching in the sports of football, wrestling, baseball, and track. He even coached me. Again, in 1969, and I was only 10 years old at that time, by the way. <laughs> he then left teaching to begin his career with the state of Oklahoma in juvenile justice, where he's worked for over 30 years as assistant district supervisor for Southwest Oklahoma. In 1992, he received the Governor's Commendation Award for his work in juvenile justice. As you can see from his two chosen professions, teaching, coaching, and then the juvenile justice system, to the youth of the state of Oklahoma. This is also apparent from his steady, continued devotion to sports officiating for a number of years, 40 years, beginning with what's now known as the Greater Tulsa Officials Association and continuing with the Sooner Football Officials Association in Duncan, Oklahoma. Mike's officiated in four different sports. He officiated basketball in the Tulsa area for two years and wrestling in the Tulsa and Duncan areas for 22 years. For a number of years while living in Duncan, Mike was one of only three certified wrestling officials for Southwest Oklahoma. He began umpiring baseball in 1969, and he continued in this sport for 23 years, including three years of college baseball umpiring. He was the founder of the Duncan Baseball Officials Association in 1980 in Duncan, Oklahoma. Although not officially recognized by the Oklahoma Officials Association, he was also a track official. He served as the head timer for the Southern Oklahoma Invitational Track Meet for numerous years, and he was the official starter for this event in Duncan, Oklahoma for over eight years. In track and field, in 1986, he was selected as the National Volunteer Services winner for the Hershey's National Track and Field Youth Program. It's a sport of football, however, where Mike has left his most lasting impression. Mike began officiating football with his father, Bill B. Bradley, who is a 1988 Hall of Fame inductee. He began with him in 1964, and he's continued his involvement in the sport for over 39 years, including eight years of college football officiating. During this time, he's been chosen to officiate numerous high school playoff games, semifinal games at all classes, and to top it off, he was chosen in 1992 to officiate the Class 3A state football championships, the 1997 Class 4A state championship, and the 2000 state championship for Class 5A. Mike, in 1986, was selected as the referee for the all-state football game here in Oklahoma. The number of regular season elementary, junior high, and high school games that Mike Bradley has officiated over the years would be too numerous to list or to even begin to count. And even in his retirement from active officiating, Mike has continued to influence officials to try to better this product that we put on the field every Friday night by serving as an officials observer for the Oklahoma Officials Association the past three years, and that's a position that he continues to hold today. Away from the field of play, Mike Bradley's been equally devoted to the improvement of sports officiating. He served on many different occasions as the president of our local association in Duncan, I think for, for 15 different terms, a total of 15 years. He served at various times as the district representative for District 1 of the Oklahoma Officials Association, 
uh, I think, 10 different terms there for a total of 10 years. And he served as president of the OOA on two occasions, 1993-94 and 2001-2002. He's also served as area coordinator for the Oklahoma Officials Association and the Ardmore Duncan Associations for over 15 years and continues to hold that position today. Although Mike Bradley is retired as an active official, he continues to influence the improvement of football officiating by his presence and his advice at local meetings on a regular basis in Duncan and for most of the Ardmore Association meetings as well. And it's at these meetings, his advice on rules interpretation, uh, officials mechanics, things of that nature are still considered invaluable by any official. At every opportunity, he continues to preach about striving for perfection in rules knowledge, mechanics, and appearance. Many outstanding football officials, many of them that I see here today, on both the, the high school and the college level, have been greatly influenced by Mike Bradley's presence, his example, and his leadership. With his induction today, Mike Bradley has the distinction of joining his father, Bill Bradley, as the only father and son tandem in the Oklahoma Officials Association Hall of Fame. It's an honor that I be allowed to join Mike's wife, Kim, his five children and their spouses, his seven grandchildren, and his many devoted friends and fellow officials that are seated here today in welcoming Mike Bradley to the Oklahoma Officials Association Hall of Fame. Thank you. Michael Bradley, his Oklahoma officials Hall of Fame plaque, and it says the same thing that Bob Bowens did. No, I did it. I will be short. I do have one story, but I'll be a short story. Uh, many people here who I would like to thank, first and most important, would be my wife, Keith. Stand up, please. me for over 20 years. I have all my five kids here, and if I leave someone out, point them out to me. <laughs> Michael, Jr., my youngest son, and his wife, Heather, uh, Bill Bradley, my son, my daughter, Jennifer McAllister, Jennifer's lovely husband, Jeff, <laughs> and their three kids, Connor, Josh, I can't see Josh, and Kennedy. Uh, I have my other daughter back there, Cassandra Frost, and her husband, Chris. I saw him somewhere oh, over there. Uh, I have my son, Michael Eric, also there. I have my two sisters here, Sharon and her husband, Gary. My other sister, Kathleen, she's here. I have my sister-in-law, Vicki, her son, Matthew, and her daughter, Sarah. And then I have my other sister-in-law, Neva, and her daughter, Sabrina. And that's my immediate family. <laughs> my other family is going to be my officiating buddies, I call them, from the Duncan and from the Automobile Association. Uh, who I've done many games with and really appreciate their work and their continued support. Uh, Mr. Byford, who's going to be inducted in just a minute, I worked many games with him. Uh, Kirby Hogue, I worked with him when I was in the Toss Association. So I know some of y'all, most of y'all, I want to say hi to. Uh, it's a great honor that my father, I'm following in his footsteps. He got inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1988 in the second group, and I just tried to fill the shoes that he has been involved in. I have enjoyed fishing for many years. I've enjoyed the friendships. I've enjoyed the, the good times, the bad times, the rain, the sleep, 107 temperature, and, and so forth. Uh, to be an official, you have to be dedicated and try to do the best job you can at all, at all times. Uh, I've gone through many state officials on Etheridge, uh, Bobby Richardson, Cecil Devine, Martin Barbie. Ivan Evans and, 
and so forth uh, to 64. Uh, Don Thompson, I started about the same time also here in Tulsa. Uh, Don was a very good friend of my dad, even uh, Mr. Hammock, and I appreciate all of his support in the past and also now in, in the present. Um, I'm going to make this somewhat short, and I will. Uh, the only thing else I have to say is that an official try to get the call right, as we heard this morning, uh, try to do the best job you can and continue enjoying the art of fishing. Thank you. I have seen you guys fish all but Jerry. I saw Jerry on the floor. With Ray. <laughs> Jerry, I would like to say that uh, you married up, and I would also like to say that uh, <laughs> a Raider still taking an opportunity of any audience that he may see because he may run for public office. <laughs> Let's, uh, you end up, I mean, you um, Hall of Fame people, we're getting ready to conduct some business, and we're going to give you an opportunity to leave because uh, it's another 30 or 40 minutes worth of work that we have to do. I agree. <laughs> so I'm going to give you an opportunity to leave, and we're going to take a five-minute break. I'm going to take the executive privilege here, and we're going to take a five-minute break. Thank you.